go back to getting your levies. Should we do any pendulum clearing? Um, have you seen one of these before? What do you think when I put it over here? She's like, I'm going to eat that thing. So I just see a little tightness right here, probably from running or playing really hard. It's just tight and the energy wants to be cleared here. And I just use the pendulum. You can use the pendulum to clear it. Ah, oh, big sigh of relief. I'm just using it to give you a visual of where I'm spotting energy. So I'm going to go ahead and just do a little bit running it through my hands. I'm coming into that heart space with her. And then I expect a little lick to yawn, releasing here in a moment. Now sliding on over to the Matrix Energetics world, I'm hearing running frequency 10. So we're going to run a little frequency 10 right here. It's coming in as like a little vortex that just wants to swirl and go deep inside of her shoulders. And I just get the image of her doing a downward doggy stretch. She really wants to put her paws out and stretch right now as she feels this energy coming in just deep inside the shoulder. Is that good? Did you like that? And she wants me to go to her hips and hind end, but my hand doesn't want to leave here yet. So I'm just going to imagine that I have a copy of my hands going down there while I'm still working with this. So right now, I've got two other hands working on that right hip. And she feels it. She knows something's going on down there. And she's also wondering why it got so quiet in here. I wouldn't be surprised if, there we go. There's the first one I was going to say if she turns around and licks right now because I felt the release right as she was yawning. And there we're getting a little bit of that shoulder stretch that she wanted to go into. And there, nice. Now. The hind end wants to connect up better with the shoulders, so I see a bridge here and the two, the two major joints want to communicate a little better and come into better harmony working together. So we're going to run another frequency. Are you going to get your shoulder stretched there? We're going to do frequency three, smooth and harmonizing, and then frequency four is going down. It's being painted all the way down this leg. And then I still have my imaginary hands working right here. They went from the hind end to the middle of her back now. She loves the energy, so the more hands, the better for her. All right. Now she's also guiding me around to her chest, so I'm going to come around here. And I'm seeing green, not just green for the heart chakra, but green energy coming into her chest and opening up from the front. We helped open up from the shoulders, now she's opening from the front. And another nice stretch here. There we go. Now, I'm going to stop for just a minute because I want her to untwist from this position and then go back to one she's a little more comfortable with. Even walk around and, and kind of implement that. Kiss the photographer. Now, I'm going to take out the Trauma Clear Spray. She had a little bit of a, of a hip issue when she was younger. She's growing out of it. But for any past trauma that might have caused that hip uh, discomfort early on. We're just going to clear the energetic remnants. This is a blend of aromatherapy and flower essences that can help clear both acute and chronic trauma, sort of at a cellular memory level. Okay, Penelope, would you like to come back? Do you want to come back? Yes. All right, do you want to come back up here? Yeah? There you go. All right. 
Yeah, see, she's smelling it. She knows there's something different here. And I like to use it on their bedding where they can just absorb it. I don't ever really spray it directly on them. I'll spray it in their aura maybe three, four feet away from them. There. What do you think of that? Some good stuff. It's going to make you feel even better. All right. And um, she showed me the tip of her tail. This gets my attention. And I think it's just more of a pulling the energy and helping her ground the energy all the way down to her tail. So I'm going to see the energy going from the crown to the tail, making a clear and open channel. And I think she's good. Yeah, that's what you smell. Now sometimes I'll actually just do a simple two-point and not use the spray or the essence, or maybe it's not available. So I'll take, for example, Rescue Remedy the energy frequency of Rescue Remedy, and I'll place it wherever I'm seeing to place it. There's a nice calming point on the inside of the wrist, where it is for people PC6 here, I would sort of do it on the inside of the leg and just imagine a calming essence. She doesn't need a calming one right now, she's fine, but that's something that you can do if you don't have the remedy available is just energetically bring the frequency in to help. I've done that several times with Arnica as well. 